Well, it seems like the next episode, because we've had a nice little hiatus again, but yeah. the next episode is going to be an interesting one for the team of Diggle, Oliver, and Felicity, given yeah. how much Diggle really wants Deadshot dead. Yes. So what can you tease about that dynamic in that episode? Well, what happens in the dynamic is, you know, there's, there's going to be tension between Oliver and Diggle, and I think um, Stephen and David will probably talk a little bit more about that if they haven't already, but what happens... You know, there, there's tension between them, so there's tension between the trio, and then Felicity's left there playing neutral, and she's trying to work both, both sides to come together, and I think, you know, that says a lot about who she is, um, and she's also worried that they're going to get immersed and completely, completely lost in both of their um, drives, where, so Diggle wants to find Dutch and Oliver you know, is getting lost underneath the hood, and I, she doesn't want to see them get completely submerged in that. She wants them to be able to keep, you know, she wants to be able to keep all of her queens separate from the hood, you know, leave your work at home sort of thing, and she wants Diggle to be able to go on with his life, you know, she wants him to be able to have a relationship and, you know, um, and not just be always focused on Otten and where Deadshot is. That's yeah. not a life, right? Right. She's their anchor in many ways. She is their anchor. Yeah. yeah. She's also their, you know, em emotional, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Emotional, I was going to say, like, emotional IQ. She's their, you know, she puts feeling to some things that they mm. might not necessarily, that they might feel numb to. Yeah. She She's also, in many ways, the audience's voice. She says the things that maybe we're thinking, and mm -hmm. so... Especially the subconscious blurts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with those subconscious flirts, has there been, ever been anything that you're like, oh my god, I can't believe she just said that out loud? <laughs> well, I was talking to, she was a dog too, uh, Willa and I were hanging out the other day, she was like, it almost looked like you vomited. I was like, yeah, well, I couldn't, I mean, I would never, I mean, I would vomit if I said that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just sometimes she's like, okay, that was dumb. Mm -hmm. And I think what's really awesome about those I mean, working lines and working a scene. What the, the sub, like the subconscious blurs that come out have to be so, you know, so subconscious that sometimes they're always different. Yeah. Um, every take, so it, it's just really interesting to like see where they go and like where they where they work and then it's like trying to get back on track after that is actually. Um, I'm pretty like warmed up to it now, but getting back on track sometimes is like, okay, and we're killing someone. Great. <laughs> yeah.